What in the world does a cold plunge actually do, and why is everyone and their cousins talking about it? From icy tubs in backyards to cold showers on TikTok, it feels like cold exposure has officially crossed into cult status. People swear it's the ultimate life hack, boosting dopamine, reducing anxiety, burning fat, and rewiring your brain. But is it really that powerful, or just another uncomfortable trend disguised as self-discipline? Let's break it down. Cold exposure is nothing new. Thousands of years ago, Roman bathhouses used cold pools to invigorate the body. In Japan, samurai practiced misogi, a ritual of purification through icy waterfall exposure. Scandinavian cultures have long rotated between saunas and frozen lakes to build resilience and clarity. But it wasn't until the last decade that cold therapy really exploded into the mainstream. And that happened largely because of one person, Wim Hof. Hof, known as the Iceman, gained worldwide attention for climbing snowy mountains in shorts, running Arctic marathons barefoot, and teaching his signature breathing method to thousands. His message? That the cold is not something to fear, but something that can transform your body and mind. Since then, cold plunges have shown up in NFL locker rooms, wellness retreats, home bathtubs, and just about every other influencer's morning routine. So, what's actually going on when you lower yourself into freezing water? First, your body enters what's called the cold shock response. Your skin senses a rapid temperature drop and your sympathetic nervous system kicks into high alert. Heart rate spikes, breathing becomes shallow and fast, blood vessels constrict, and blood flow gets redirected to your core organs to conserve heat. It's your body's built-in emergency protocol, designed to protect you, not punish you. At the same time, something interesting happens. Brown fat activation. Brown fat is a special type of fat that burns calories to generate heat, and cold exposure is one of the only ways to activate it. When it kicks in, your metabolism ramps up dramatically, sometimes by over 300%. Your body becomes a temporary furnace trying to restore balance. And while all that's happening physically, your brain is lighting up in fascinating ways. Cold exposure triggers a surge in norepinephrine, a chemical involved in alertness and focus. But the real hero is dopamine, your brain's motivation molecule. In one study, dopamine levels increased by over 250% after cold exposure and stayed elevated for hours. That's more than most workouts, more than caffeine, more than scrolling your phone for dopamine hits that vanish in seconds. People often describe a cold plunge as a full body reset. There's a moment of panic, yes, but on the other side is calm, clarity, and a weird kind of mental high. Some researchers even call it a natural antidepressant, not because it replaces medication, but because it creates a reliable neurochemical shift and teaches your nervous system how to self-regulate. That shift, over time, leads to something more lasting, stress resilience. Each plunge teaches your body that discomfort isn't danger. You begin to handle stress with less reactivity. You bounce back faster. Your tolerance for challenge expands. And that rewiring doesn't just stay in the tub. It follows you into real life. So what does the science actually support? Studies suggest cold exposure can reduce inflammation, improve insulin sensitivity, support fat metabolism, and potentially enhance immune function. Some research has even shown increases in white blood cell counts, improved antioxidant production, and better regulation of the vagus nerve, which plays a major role in calming the body. Athletes use it for recovery. High performers use it for clarity, and mental health researchers are starting to explore how it might complement therapy or behavior change interventions. Now, it's not all upside. Cold plunges won't give you abs. They won't cure depression, and they definitely aren't a free pass to skip sleep, movement, or nutrition. Also, this practice isn't for everyone. If you have heart conditions, circulation issues, or serious medical concerns, talk to a doctor before jumping into cold exposure. That said, if you're healthy and curious, it's a low barrier way to test your edges and potentially gain real physiological benefits. So how do you start? Begin with cold showers. At the end of your normal shower, turn it cold for 30 seconds. Focus on your breathing. Let your body adapt. 
Then gradually increase the time or move to full immersions if you're feeling bold. This is about consistency, not heroics. You don't need to suffer to win. You just need to show up and observe what shifts. So what can you expect if you stay consistent? Research shows your dopamine levels may spike by as much as 250 to 300 percent, creating a powerful shift in motivation, energy, and mood that lasts for hours. Your metabolism may also increase due to the activation of brown fat, which burns energy to generate heat even after you've stepped out of the water. Inflammation in the body can decrease over time, supporting faster recovery from training or stress and potentially reducing chronic pain. And perhaps most importantly, your nervous system begins to adapt. You become less reactive to stress, more emotionally grounded, and better equipped to handle challenges throughout your day. These aren't miracle effects, but when added up and practiced consistently, they become meaningful. Here's the truth. Not everything that's hard is helpful, but most things that help you grow will feel hard, at least at first. And cold plunges? They're a physical, mental, and emotional challenge packed into just a few minutes. You against yourself. You choosing discomfort on purpose. That's where growth starts. Whether or not you ever take the plunge, understanding what happens when you do gives you insight into how the body and the mind respond to challenge. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more informational content like this. Also, comment down below when you decide to take your first cold plunge. How long did you last?